Okay, hi. So today we will share with you how to create a diagram like this, an isometric diagram that uh, will showcase, for example, certain parts of your design, like a module of your particular PPVC item or prefabricated uh, elements as well. Okay, so what you will do is say, for example, if you have an original file, this is uh, what I've used earlier on, um, where we have the idea about grouping, right? And say, for example, now you want to focus on the balconies over here. So I'll be working on this particular part of the model. Uh, this was the basis of the grouping earlier on. So now what we will do is you will just go to view and then go to 3d view and create a new camera over here okay and then it will ask you to place the location of your camera so i'm just gonna place it here and i'll just look at this element so this is what you will see as a 3d view now the different thing that we would need to do is just to go to the 3D view properties, select the section box. Once you see this, there will be a box that will go around your entire uh, camera view earlier on. There is also a limit to your view extent. Okay, so all of this can be adjusted. What you just need to do now is to adjust this view scope to just to have what we want to focus on, which is in this case the camera, the balcony. Okay, so I will just pull this one here something like this and try to navigate to that particular view so maybe not this, the opposite side so click on the corner here okay. and then you will realize that oh you still can adjust the 3D view right if you were to go back to this 3D view you can rename it and I want it to be an isometric view instead of a 3D view okay uh, it depends on you for diagrams it's better to work with isometric but if for, for example you want to use this same technique as a sectional perspective you can also do so you can correct this by having a similar eye and target elevation once you press enter yes so this will be a nicer looking 3D perspective view okay However, if you are more interested to do a isometric view, which I think works better for diagrams, just click on orthographic here and then just select the corner and this will automatically set the isometric view for you. Now what we want to do is to adjust the section box accordingly so that we don't see these parts okay. Okay. so maybe something like this and you can even uh, dimension your elements so just go to annotate angular and I can dimension from here to say here so this is my internal clearance I can also dimension from here to the railing and this is another dimension okay uh, with this what we just need to go next to is use visibility graphics so just type VG on your keyboard VG and you can select all click on this portion here so we want to override all the cut as a particular color that we want so say for example this purple 
just to make it um, clearer click OK you can also change the lines to be a solid line right with a very dark color like black and the weight you can have a thicker line weight as well okay and you can apply okay, so now you will see this is your updated uh, drawing okay. um, with this you can export your view but I'm also going to show you another step uh, which is allows you to have more calibration together with uh, Adobe Illustrator so what I want you to do now is to print this first so select your location of where you want to print the file and then click OK and I want you to create this as a line drawing so line dash one okay this was the earlier ones okay and now what I want you to do is to change the graphic display setting so type GD GD okay. and you can adjust this lighting to have uh, and shadows to have cast shadows, ambient shadows click apply and you can see these are the shadows I generally suggest a 369 approach for the intensity of the sun ambient light and shadows when you click apply so it gives more contrast click OK you can also adjust the way that the light shines from the sun so you can click on sun settings under lighting here you can click on top left apply and this is the lighting effect that I think is good for this particular view you can make uh, further adjustments uh, by yourself okay now you will print this click OK and you will realize that it will say that this uses raster printing because of the shadow settings this only happens when you have shadows turned on so click close and I'll call this shadow dash one now we are ready to go to Illustrator so I just want you to open these two files that you have done before used before okay so the first one this one is the shadow file this is more as a basis to uh, overlay your shadow to your diagram okay what I will do now is I will just delete the rest of the elements oops so this one you can right click oops uh, okay. just want to delete this uh, annotations from this drawing okay I think this is enough I will delete the rest and then I'll select all of this okay so I'll control C I'll go over to here okay I'll create a new layer and I will paste it over okay so this is just for the shadows and what I'm gonna do now is I shall change the opacity of this to say 50% and I'll adjust it to go over to our drawing below something like this okay and you can even fine-tune more of the shadow of the opacity okay so maybe now I will make it even fainter like uh, I can also put it here 15 percent and what I'll do is I'll lock this down so that I will not adjust it okay the next step now is to 
uh, focus on this part. So these are my lines. I will rename this layer and I'll just call this my lines. So you rename by just double clicking on it. This is my shadows. So to focus on the lines, I want to draw a nice uh, thick blue outline over this. Okay. So what I will do now is I will uh, pick the color okay, from here. So this is the color. I want my stroke to be black. Click OK. And I will create another layer. This is called my hatch layer. And I will use a pen tool. Now I will also lock this line there. And then now I will trace over. Somehow I didn't select the correct option there. But this one I will just change it to black. Okay. Like so. Okay, so now I have fixed this portion over here. I can also push my hatch over the shadows because you can see the remnants of the shadows. So just drag it and place it over here. Okay, so now this is more crisp. You can fine tune this so that, yes. Uh, use the A button on your keyboard to focus on just the corners of this part. Now the last thing is just to do the outline around this. Okay, But before that, I want to make sure, again, I will select my hatch here. Just click this button. I want to make this thick. So thicker. So I'm going to put this to, okay, two, two should be good. Okay, maybe 2 is too much, so I will change this to 1.5. Okay, so this is a thicker line for the outline of the section. And then I'll create another new layer, and this will be my outline. Now I lock the rest so that I'm always on this particular <coughs> layer. I will click on this, I will turn off the hatch, so I'm just drawing an outline. Now I will use the pen tool again, P, and I will connect from here to here to here to here to here. I can click and hold to draw a circle a semicircle and then click here again click and hold and drag and then finally to this part okay and just to make it uh, less bold I will just make this into one okay so this part of the section sh uh, shines out okay so I, I kind of like this color scheme at the moment now, but we can always go to, uh, say, a color generator like this, right? The website is called Coolers, and you can pick uh, different kinds of uh, color combinations. So for example, this, I can copy this and go back to Illustrator. I create a new layer. And this is my annotations. And I can create a new text to annotate this. So for example, this is my slab. I will change this color. Just click on this. Oops, sorry. Click on this. And whatever that you have copied from this text here, Control C, Control C, Control V. 
this will change the color of the text okay so I like this so this is my uh, say this is my reinforce concrete slab uh, 100 mm thick okay and then let's see the other combination colors okay I will now draw my arrow so I can draw a pen with a pen I will click from here to here to say here okay I just swap this so that it's only giving me a few and I can select this and I can choose what kind of arrow heads I want to have over here so this will be at the end I will choose sometimes you can even have this which is neater I feel okay. the size I can adjust this to say 50 by 50 so this is one way to do it and you can continue annotating as you please Okay, so I can just take this, I can hold on to alternate, drag it up and hold on to shift. So this can be my pre-cast wall. And I can press A to select this and then just pull this to here. make sure the line is straight so just use A to adjust this accordingly yeah. so hold on to shift and yes so now that you're happy with this <coughs> you can also think about background so having a nice background color will be useful as well so we use this reference so let's see maybe we will have it to the, towards this background so I'll just copy this go back here I've created a new layer here and what I'm just gonna do is I will create a nice rectangle uh, duplicate flip this go here paste this color click OK and yep there you have it a nice uh, looking diagram you can also adjust the annotations over here once you're happy with this you can just go to uh, export this for your as a PDF for your overall presentation okay that's it